I'd just like to tell you a little bit more about Oracle Television. We are new, we are a live online channel and we are entirely free to view. We've had a lot of people sending through messages going, how do I watch you? How much does it cost? No, it's totally free. All you need to do is watch our broadcasts live on our website, on our Facebook page, on our live stream account, on our Twitter feed. We're even going to be able to stream live onto our YouTube account soon as well. All of our shows will also be available to view after they've been broadcast and that's something that's quite new in the area of live psychic programming. Usually they're live television shows and once they're gone, they're gone. But ours are all recorded and they will be available to view. So if you miss a live broadcast, don't worry, you will be able to go through to our live stream account and our YouTube channels and watch it all again or edited highlights, which is what we will be doing. Editing some of the highlights, some of the features, some of the topics that we're dealing with, putting them together into sort of bite-sized chunks for you and distributing them all around. So do keep an eye out for them on our, on our news feeds, on um, Facebook, on our Twitter feeds, on our websites, on our mailing lists, because the way that we communicate with you is through social media. And we'd really appreciate it if you would join us, reach out to us as well, share our broadcasts, share our posts, like our pages, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to mailing lists and tell everyone around, around about us. We want you to interact with us to be a part of Oracle TV as it grows. You've seen we're doing a show here called The Spirit Show, which is our mediumship specialised show. And it's to, to deal really with people who um, are working especially with spirit in a way of delivering messages. Um, a lot of psychics can pick up mediumistic information, but what I like to see are those people that are working on platform and delivering messages. They're, they're of service to people. They work in the spiritualist churches, they give demonstrations in halls, at events, in theatres, and also do one-to-one -one sittings. And this is an area of work which is very sensitive. It deals with areas of bereavement. It, it also requires that people have a natural understanding, a sense of empathy, counselling, care, um, because to bring those messages through to people from those that they've loved that have passed over is a very sensitive thing. So what we're looking for are people that can handle that um, with integrity and with compassion, but also bring through that accuracy, that detail, that validation. This spirit show is live and interactive featuring international psychic mediums. To book an appointment with one of our studio guests, call 0207 193 6457 or call 0207 111 6378 to have a reading right now with one of our team. Oracle TV, for mind, body and soul. Hello and welcome back to The Spirit Show. My name is Carrie Kirkpatrick and tonight on this glorious full moon I'm joined by the incredible psychic medium Terry Strohmeyer. Welcome Terry. Thank you, lovely to be here. And I think the other thing to mention really is don't be frightened and it doesn't matter what religion or background you've come yeah. from or even if the person that's passed, you know, even if they didn't believe in it, you know, it's a way for them to communicate and when they get to the other side they do realise uh, you know that there is another afterlife and obviously they can come forward so don't let that put you off um so and you know it, sometimes it's very emotional having having a sitting mm -hmm. and it's perhaps something that's been on your mind for a very very long time mm -hmm. and uh, so what's right for you you know the way to contact us please do because yeah. it's great to see you and uh, for the spirit world to talk to you direct sometimes people do prefer it to be face to face yes. or, or what, even if it's not face to face it can be via webcam and we can arrange some appointments in central london having said that but most people have do that over the phone or webcam yeah. but that personal one-to-one -one time is other very things private. come out sometimes yeah. you know that expecting mm. uh, I remember a long time ago a lady came to me in fact I was doing a whole block of sittings and a woman said I'm just stepping in because another person couldn't make it and um, she sat down and within seconds she was crying this woman she didn't think she needed it but I had a father came through immediately and just your son's okay and she burst into tears and she said I can't believe you're saying that she said and, and I told her very much about her she had to adopt her son and she'd never told anybody 
and um, every single day she prays for this child and wanted to know um, was this child okay and she had that evidence from her father that the child was okay it was being looked after and even though she didn't think she needed a reading at that oh, time the yeah. spirit world delivered and gave her that upliftment and also took away that horrible feeling of guilt that she'd carried mm. for all those years mm. so you know sometimes the spirit world know what's going on and what is needed for you too you know so it was no accident basically yes. that she stepped in at that last minute mm. and i think we do find that especially in the world of mediumship don't we yeah as we said before the spirit guides are coming through they're getting ready this afternoon before we were ready they were ready and mm. and then they're prompting people to get in touch absolutely that's exactly how it works it really does so if you feel inspired to get in touch with terry if you're watching her and thinking because you know what there's something about that woman i feel drawn to you <laughs> There's something about her, mad woman. <laughs> well, she's got such a strong energy, haven't you? Such a strong energy. Well, people a, do say there's that. There's a lot of healing say. energy with that, isn't it? Yeah. Would you I'm like to very tell passionate about, about working How did it all world? start for you when, you when you started sitting in circle? How was that? Well, I, I mean, I've been psychic since I was tiny. Seven years of age was when, when it all really sort of, um, I became so aware. But the first time um, that I wanted to sort of do something with it was when I was um, living in Oxford at the time. And my mum desperately, because she was the one that I used to do, in fact I shouldn't, be, shouldn't do it this way, but I started off with a Ouija board with my mother. Yeah. And as soon as I put my hands on, on, on the board, it whizzed round like mad and it was coming through me. But I always remembered, had to say it in prayer, be very serious and treat it properly. Um, and I just wanted to harness this energy that I had. Mm -hmm. So I went to a spiritualist church, which my mum found out. And I, when I got there and asked about what do I do, how do I go into a circle, they said to me, we have already been told, we're, we're ready for you, that, um, that they, the spirit world had told them that I was coming. And little did they know when I sat in the circle what I was going to bring because it was so funny because I sat there and I actually thought I was going to fly off the chair. The energies were quite awesome. It was incredible. It really was. Um, and I sort of sat there and, um, and afterwards everybody, you know, were not talking to me straight away and, and I wondered what was going on. And I actually made people feel physically sick with the raw energy that I had. And because they liked me as an individual, they were prepared to work with me. And, um, and to carry on. And I'm very good friends with them all now, would you believe? But uh, it was an amazing experience. Sounds and like a roller coaster. Yeah, it? so it was, it was about me being in control of the spirit rather than spirit being in control of me at that particular time. And they wanted me to put it to good use because otherwise, what's it all about? Um, and, and it is a discipline. You have to learn because you can't be ch tuned in all of the time because that just drains us. So you have to learn to tune in, work with it when you're working and be disciplined with it. And when you're not, you're switched off. You've got to live your human life and, yeah. and be normal, as, as normal as I can be. <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> Psychics and mediums, we all tend to kind of like gravitate and become good friends. So I think it's yeah. because we're all a bit not normal in a way. Well, exactly. Really. Oh. Our not normalness becomes normal. <laughs> exactly. Well, we, because we've been through the, it's, yeah. it, you know, our spiritual journey is, is, is often a very lonely one. And sometimes there's a lot of jealousy out there, is what I have to say. Yeah. And a lot of viewers will probably understand that. that Unfortunately, you, yeah. you know, some people think they're gifted and, 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 and therefore, um, you know, try to put other people down. And, you know, many of our viewers may, may sort of uh, want to talk, talk to us about their, their experiences. And, and really it's to encourage us, don't give up, keep on going. Because we're all individual. Mm -hmm. We all have our unique individual characters. And the spirit world will use us and also the, um, the actual experiences in our life they will use in order for us, to for them to help other people as well. Mm. So it's incredible how it all works. And it's just a question of knowing that when you are working uh, with a spirit, you're working in a safe environment that you can unfold mm. and you can learn to, to really attune to the spirit world, which means by that you're gonna heighten your own energies and that will have a profound effect on you as well as an individual. I know you're incredibly nervous, aren't you? A little bit nervous, <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. Just yes. don't be nervous. No. Um, because um, you don't need to be. There's no, no. reason to fear, is there, no. really? As I said, when I was travelling down today, very, very much aware of a gentleman yes. who tells me he's your father. Yes. So um, I know this is going to be quite emotional because yes. um, he hasn't passed that long ago because I feel it's about over a, just about a year, over a year yes, that, right. that he passed. 
incredibly quick passing as well. Yes. And I think that's what really hit more than anything. It's because you didn't get your do we there was there, you just didn't know that it was going to happen. Yeah, that's and he true. was just like the, it was the most unexpected thing to happen as well, wasn't it? Yes. With your with your dad. Um, he was a lovely man, your dad. Yeah, you know, um, you really looked up to him, didn't you? I did. Yeah. You could, he could, you could wrap him round your little finger. I have to say, he's telling me, and he absolutely adores you. Oh. As I said, he's a good-looking man, and I know you've got lots of photographs of him. Yes. And you carry photographs very close to you as well. He's telling I do, me. Yeah. So I know if I look at my phone, he's on my phone. Yeah. Um, varying pictures as well because I feel that they're you know throughout his his life you've got pictures of yes, him I do, yes. because there's some pictures of him when he's a younger man yes and I'm seeing pictures of him with lesser hair as well <laughs> 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 not that he wants to be telling me but no, he's got lesser yeah, hair yeah, but he's got true. lesser hair yeah. but you know he's got lovely eyes when yes. I look at your eyes you've got very very similar eyes you know you. you know he I can just see you so much in him and even your characteristics as well yes you know you're so like him in so many different ways he was a real thinker your dad wasn't yeah, he, yeah, he was. very very a man that always thought before he said anything mm -hmm. he didn't like hurting anybody no. you know he he was a, an honorable man your father he yes. really was and you know he's sitting and he's he the way he's putting his he's sitting back so yeah. we had a great posture yeah um quite sporty as well i feel with him yeah, too yeah, yeah. you know because he's a fit man yes and that's was. what was so hard to understand you yeah. know as to why he um, you know passed very very quickly because as I said one minute he was here the next minute he was he, he literally collapsed yes, um, true, and yeah. was no longer with us yeah. and but you would never expect it because he was fit he looked energetic he wasn't overweight um, he looked after himself in, in every way yeah, he was true. very very um, particular about his what he wore as well wasn't he yes. you know he really was I'm seeing nice shoes his hands were always clean. He yeah. was a very particular man about everything. Yes, yes. And I know not only that, though, he was a father that was um, always there for you, yeah. always wanting to be part of your growing up, yeah. a part of your schooling, a part mm -hmm. right the way through your life. He was there, a mentor. You could talk to him did, yeah. um, about everything and anything. He yeah, was like true. a friend, really, wasn't he? He, was. he, re he really was. And that's yeah. what's so difficult, because once he passed... It was like all of a sudden that that mentor, the person that was there directing, guiding you, never judgmental. He yeah, would always yeah, listen yeah. and he made you feel comfortable and safe when you wanted to go with him to him for a question. Yes. And, you know, rather than berating you in that way, he was always loving you. Now, yeah. I know you've had a difficult time, haven't you, since uh -huh. he's passed. Yes. Um, and at times you've thought to yourself, what is life all about? Um, and so at times you wanted to actually be with him, haven't you? You know? So it's like I want to cuddle you and just say, he knows so much what you have been through. And, you know, life isn't going to stay as it is because it seems you feel like a hermit at the moment. Every, yeah. You seem very on your own in every aspect of your life. And, you know, it, it, I'm looking at family. I've sort yeah. of turned their back on you a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've been quite nasty to you. Um, your mum struggled in her own way, yeah. um, but it, I, I, it's almost as if I don't understand why she's behaving the way she is towards you. Yeah. Your dad is um, a bit bewildered by what is going on. I know you've got a sister as well, yeah. but she, he's talking to me very much about. I'm bewildered too. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the words he's giving, but he's saying, yeah. don't give up, all right? Don't give up. Um, because I feel this will, I'm not going to go on, on air and give, you know, all no. the dirty <laughs> laundry <laughs> out there, because that's, that's not yeah, yeah, fair yeah, yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. No, but what he's trying to do is just oh. say to you, you are not on your own. Now, you've also had some dreams as well with him, yeah. he's telling me. Uh -huh. now, can I just say to you that they were not dreams, that he okay. was absolutely trying to get his message across to you to say mm -hmm. that, you know, he's close, 
he's he's with you yeah. and and not only that you've been excited about knowing you're going to be having a message today from yes. him yeah, but you were also you actually demanded that he came through as well that you're not going to be disappointed yes. were you not <laughs> because you've you've really spoken to him and given uh -huh. him a few words you know I did, uh, yeah. and s say to him and you know and no certain terms you've actually got to come through yeah, you've got to prove yourself yeah. because you didn't want to go and be disappointed that's true and that was the big thing there was one that bit of hesitation he's telling me that you wondered if you were going to be um let down in terms of in case he didn't come through yeah. and you were disappointed yeah. but your dad but the spirit world will never disappoint you. you've got a lovely grandmother here too yeah. is joining they both come together there's also a dog in the spirit world i have oh, to okay, bring yes. through too <laughs> photographs of the dog yeah. as well i want to say yeah. but you've got some great memories of being with your father on your own i do yes. and you know when you'd go out for walks with him yeah because um, he loved walking yeah he did, and yeah. you know did he smoke at one point in he his did, life yeah, because yeah, um did, yeah. I've, i'm just getting him smoking and he actually enjoyed his cigarettes he at did, one yeah, point in yeah. his life oh, sorry, and um well, <laughs> tissues <laughs> <laughs> tissues um so you know he's just trying to say to you that um you know life is, has changed quite a bit you have had when i look back at your life I want to say for the last 10 years, yes, he's true. telling me that you have had um, some very, un, uh, very unhappy times within that 10 year period. Yeah, yeah. And he helped you through quite a lot of that. Yes. You know, I, I feel he helped you as much as he possibly could yeah. in terms of even financial at times. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because he's telling me, um, but also, that, but that putting that to one side, the emotional strength he gave you yes. was the most important that you ever needed because yeah, he was definitely. always there, never disappointed you, yeah. and you knew that you could just trust him. And so I know relationship breakdown as well. I can see. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yeah. um, because I feel that 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 was a long time coming. I have to say, yeah. you know, and I feel you were in that probably a bit longer than you should have been. Yes. yes. And you weren't very happy for a long time, yes. were you? No, no, you put true. on a bit of an actress face there, didn't you? Yes. Quite a lot. But there's children, is there not? Because I or you're wanting children. I've seen children around you. Do you work with children? I work with children. Right. Yes, okay. Yeah. Was there a wanting of children? because I feel it was very much about children they keep talking to me about. Um, I'm not quite sure at the moment, but probably. Right. Yes. Okay, did you ever lose a child at some point then? Because I'm, see I'm seeing a child that never came to the, sp never came to the earth plane that's in right, the spirit okay. world. Okay. okay. So just uh, just I'll take that, take, yeah. take that. might be yeah. um, another member of the family because I'm seeing this with um, with your father's o over there. Oh, okay. And, um, but I just know very much that... You know, you've had a, a, a very difficult time with this with a past relationship, and but I could also see after that relationship, you've had other relationships <laughs> that um, it's like almost jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. Can I say? Very much so. Do you understand I that? Do indeed. And yes. um, you, you, oh dear, oh dear, your grandmother's <laughs> grandmother is just saying to me how many times oh, that you dear. just seem to pick the wrong, the wrong ones. One. Yes, that's true. Um, and it's always about you so. being their strength at times that's true you giving such a lot you are such a big softie aren't you yeah, I am. <laughs> you are such a big softie yeah. and the more you give the more people seem to take from you that's true, isn't, true. isn't that true yeah, yeah. and i have to say they're just making me aware of as well yeah. this is not just relationships with um uh, you know uh, intimate relationships this is also friendships as well true, because yes. you've had some big disappointments with some friends haven't you yes. that's absolutely um Very devastated so. you and yeah. really hurt you people that you thought were there that were going to um, that they were your true honest yes. friends have betrayed you. Yes, that's is true. the words I'm going to say. Yeah. almost stabbed you in the back. Yes, that's very um, true. And your father is dismayed by those by them. Mm. Um, and it, it it at times you have been their rock. Yes, you have given them so much. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like when you've needed them or wanted them. It's like they've just not even interested yeah, so and they're true. too busy with themselves yeah. and their own lives and con consumed. And it's just like they've dumped you. Yes, you that's know? true. Yeah. It's just like they've totally dumped you. And I just don't get it. I just don't get Neither it. Do I. And you know what? 
<laughs> you know, I know one should be a forgiving, but I have to say, this is extreme. Yeah. You know, this is really extreme and incredibly yeah. hurtful yeah. the way they have done it and given you no explanation. Yeah, yeah, um, that's true. Or, um, you know, if you've hurt them or whatever the situation, they've, they've given you no opportunity to put this right yeah. at all. Yeah. They've just walked out of your life like yeah. that and closed the door. And do you know what? Your dad's saying to me, they're not worth it. Yeah. They're not worth it. Yeah. At this particular point in your life, it seems as if there has been an incredible amount of things like neg go ne negatively wrong yes. around you. Yeah. And it, it just seemed as if it was like one thing after another, one obstacle after another. Yes. And when somebody said to you, when you're at the bottom, the only way is up. Oh. That's almost like a kiss of death when I they know. say that because something else <laughs> happens. You think, oh no, yeah. something else is going to happen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, and it does. Something so else comes along and hurts you. It's and it's just stuff. like one thing, uh, you just said it, an emotional roller coaster, yeah. one thing after another with yeah. you. And it gets to a point where you just feel drained. You feel absolutely, you feel like nothing. You've That's been, true. you've actually had your confidence. Absolutely. They're giving me the word mashed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, that's not a word that I would use. Oh, yeah, no, but true. I just feel physically and psychologically, mm -hmm. you feel really quite down. And like you don't know where to turn or what to do. Now, the other thing that I can tell you that your father is, that's why I'm saying they work with you very much where they're trying to give you dreams yeah. and they're trying to put their arms around you. But not only that, they're trying to give yeah, you an sorry. incredible amount of healing at this time as well, all right? So there's a lot of healing energies going around you at the moment. Yeah. You've got to be strong. You've got to start thinking, this is about owning your own power now, all right? Yeah. And what you've got to start doing too is you have really got to start taking control of owning your life, yeah. Not letting the past hurt you anymore. Yes. You've got to, because you spend most of your time looking back in the past, analysing everything, yeah. the whys, the where, and why people have hurt you, which is not doing you any good. Mm -hmm. So what you've got to do is turn a key on that, throw the yeah. key away, and just look to the future. And just know, so we think, so we create. So we are yeah. now about to go into a different part of our lives. You have yeah. learnt an incredible amount, haven't you? Absolutely, yes. You know, you really, yeah. really have. You have been on, um, uh, in terms of the emotions, it's yeah. like you've been through every variable possible emotion there is to have in this life. I could probably write a book about you, it. Well, you really, really could, you know. And your, dad, your dad's funeral, I tell you what, was something, wasn't it? Yes. You know, great music. <laughs> He's telling yes. me as well. It, you know, and it really did. Um, yeah. The whole funeral really he made him shine as to yeah. who he really was. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. a lot of people came. He's yeah. just making me aware. That's true. Yeah. And, and, and I know that, you know, you were just feeling very numb by it all. And the trouble is, it's like, who do you talk to anybody about your father passing? Because you've literally quashed all of those emotions, haven't you? Because yes. you haven't been able to speak about it. And they're telling me that you have needed healing or you've had healing. Yes, I have. Yeah. Um, does, that, does that make sense? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because so. um, I know it's, it's, it's about let, just letting it all go. And at times, yeah. you know, I know you're crying now, yeah. which I'm sorry about. It's okay. But, you know, <laughs> it's, it's the best out. form of release. <laughs> it really absolutely. is. Don't, don't bottle it up. Let it out. Yeah, and your father's just desperately just wanting to wipe, wipe your tears yeah. away because that's what he would have done. You know, because you, you have had times where he has done that. Exactly, wiped your tears away, he's telling me. But what he's saying to me is, look, you've got a bright future ahead. If only you had eyes to see with the spiritual eye. Because, you know, everything you have been through, you could relate to the things that I've been talking about, about your sensitivity, because you have got an incredible sensitivity. Yeah. And you really feel things, don't you? I do, yeah, very much um, so. So some people, it just is like water off a duck's back. Yeah. But everything you've gone through hits you mm -hmm. and sometimes makes you quite sick feeling, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does, yeah. Um, to the point where you have actually been sick, mm -hmm. you know, where it becomes a too much of an emotion to handle. Yeah. So you've had to learn how to deal with that emotion. That's so true, yes. So, but, but what I want to say is, everything you've been through over the last, I want to say, eight years rather yeah. than ten right yeah. eight years because the, I know the, the, from ten years you've been going through a hard time but eight years is more poignant yes, that's true. that 
it's been a series of stepping stones that's got you to where you are today. Yeah. And every every emotion, everything you have felt, I tell you what, you are going to go on and help other people yourself at some point because you have got a gift which is there but you haven't really tapped into at the moment because you're not ready to at the moment. Yes. At the moment, if I'm saying to you um, about you giving to other people, that's just you just couldn't do it because at the moment, you know, you've got to look after yourself. Yeah, you've got to get yourself sorted out. Yeah. Um, but when the time is right and you're happy, yes. because that's one thing you've asked your dad and you've asked the spirit world, when am I going to be happy? Yes. When am I going to be at peace? Because often you're having to be, as I said before, the actress, making out you're happy, making out everything's okay in your life. But when I start taking away, going behind that, scratching behind the surface, I can see that that's not the case at all. Yeah. All right. So what they're saying to me is that you are going, embarking on a totally new part of your life now. It's a new chapter. Yeah. Um, and I want to say also, I feel even career. I feel that there's, yeah. you've been questioning about that, haven't you? Yes, yes. Um, because it, as much as you enjoy it, you feel it's naturally coming to its, its, its yeah, end. Yeah. And the, but, but it's supported you quite a lot mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. You've needed that job as much as the job's needed you. Yeah. So it's been a two-way exchange of energy in that yeah. sense. But, but, but you're wanting to do other things now. And the thing is, what's happened in your life is you've had your confidence chipped away at. And you haven't been able yes. to believe in yourself. Yeah. And you, peop, you don't think you've got the ability to go on and do other things. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say to you, you have an amazing ability. You've got an amazing empathy. And you, you're very good with words. And you're very good with people. And you're excellent with children. Yeah. So I know that there's things on the horizon. But it's like you're not quite sure where you want to go, though, with it. That's right. Yeah. You know? So mm -hmm. you're still thinking. Yes. You're still analyzing where you're wanting to go and what you're going to do so yeah. that's coming about yeah. all right that's yeah. coming about and and do you know what the other thing is they're, they're saying to me i'm not allowed to tell you because it's it's we've got to we've got to uncover it for ourselves yes. yeah. but what i can tell you is it's like a networking everything is going to fall into place for you yeah. and you are going to know when it's the right time yeah now the bridge will be met with your family that will at some point yeah. it will get better yeah, sure. you know yeah. it's not going to go on for, for forever <laughs> indefinitely but I want to also say as well um, the career is quite important for you because that's the big question the big thing the thing is is what you can take control of at the moment the one mm. thing one area in your life that you can control yes. is your career yeah. and that's the one thing that you're that you're disappointed at at this moment and yeah. that you're wanting something more yeah. because you don't feel you're challenged in the right ways right. so i know that you've got so much more to give that this is going to be the first port of call that you're going to start doing because i'm seeing a real excitement around that okay okay they're, yeah. they're really getting excited your dad's your dad was a clever man yes you know he, he he really was and he's trying to guide you and help you wherever he can he was very good at grammar wasn't he mm -hmm. yes you know um, because i'm just seeing dotting the i's crossing the t's <laughs> And the way things are spelt, yeah. you know, he was yeah. a, he was one to make sure that everything was written down correctly, yeah, wasn't he? Right, yes. Quite enumerate as well, yeah. he's telling me. I don't think he really liked calculators very much or needed no. them very much. <laughs> very distinct handwriting he had as yeah, well. Yeah. So I know you've got his handwriting still, yeah. he's telling me. Okay, so yeah. um, I know cards and things that you would have, he's written some little words in and things. Yes. He's just making me aware that you've got, and you've looked at that recently too. I have, yeah. You know, he's just yeah. told me. Can I just say, I keep seeing horses around you as well I you must have to, right uh, yeah i used to do it when i was 15. right yeah. i was going to say because they're in the spirit world yeah. now <laughs> so uh that the horse there that you yeah. loved very very much yeah. Did you, did you do some sort of over cavalettis and things like that at yes. one point? Because yeah. I, I don't know if you did some show jumping or, did, or something, yes. because oh I'm seeing gosh. show jumping, I'm yes. seeing the little rosettes. That's what, yes. I'm, I'm yeah, being shown so too. Yeah. Oh, wow. And <laughs> so little cups as well that yes. you, you would have won too. Yeah, did, yeah. And yeah. I'm seeing you take, uh, I'm seeing you actually going over some quite big spreads as well. Yeah, that's because right. there's, isn't there a photograph of you on a, ho a pony yes. or a horse yes. going oh, over this jump? I'll yes. tell you what, for a little girl, that was a big jump, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So yeah. I'm just being shown that. But you also had some, wow. you also fell off a few times, too, yes. I'm being told, because yeah. I'm being told that it was one that you fell off and winded yourself quite yes. badly yeah. and had quite a bad experience. But 
you've just got back on that horse again. Yes, that's Nothing true. ever deterred you. Yeah. Did one bolt with you once as well? Yes, yeah. Because I'm just being told about this horse absolutely running off with you. What a yes. scary experience <laughs> that was. I can't and that was you know this. Huh? I can't believe you know this. Because I'm just that's seeing amazing. I mean I tell you what, that was pretty scary where that horse took you, wasn't yes. it? Yes, that's but true. Uh, you hung on to dear life on this yeah. horse. And um, again you see Think of that in life, what you went through, even at that age, how strong and how determined that you are not going to fall off that horse. Yeah. Well, that just goes on to show to me today that you are going to go from strength to strength with your career. And I have to say, because the big, big question is, when's Mr. Wright going to yeah. come into my life? <laughs> I was because just thinking that. <laughs> she's thinking that, friends. I'm being told her dad's saying to get on to that because she's asking about the man when he's coming in. Because it's almost that she's not interested in the job, really, because she knows that's coming. But the big question yeah. is the yeah. man. Yes. Now, I have to say, he is coming. He hasn't been ready for you. All right? right, because of what he's going through in his life, okay. and it's just about synchronization. Yeah, um, and you're ready. Um, you're ready now to um, to meet somebody else. Yeah. and I can see he's he's coming onto your pathway. He's a lovely man. He's got many wonderful qualities, like your father. Yeah. I have okay. to say, nice. um, he's going to be good looking. He's going to be somebody. He's going to be. You are a soulmate, don't you? Yes. That's the one word you've looked for and you've spoken about recently oh. that you want a soulmate because your dad's just telling me yes. you are going to find your soulmate, and this is going to be a relationship that it will have longevity with it as well. Yeah. And he will be like your best friend too. He will make you incredibly happy. Yeah. Um, and you know what? You'll say to yourself, this has been worth waiting for. It really will. I always said that. You know? <laughs> so just so trust that, yeah. yes, life's been tough. It's been difficult, but it's getting better and better and better. Yeah. And, you know, it's just going to be lovely. I really do feel that. So just oh. hold on. I hope that's helped. Yes, thank you, Terry. You know, I really, yeah, really do. Yeah. You have just been watching the incredible Terry Stromayer, our guest psychic medium for this evening, giving a private sitting to one of our viewers who came into the studio, the lovely Tracy Swan. And wow, what a reading that was. I was watching downstairs and, you know, really the energy, the detail that was coming through was truly remarkable. Now, this is what mediumship is all about. This is what we witnessed firsthand at our live event in Conway Hall. Just a couple of weeks ago, Terry was part of a lineup of a, a number of guests that we had an incredible evening. And we are going to be looking at some material from that event featuring Terry Strohmeyer quite shortly. But before we do, I'd like to first of all thank Tracy Swan for coming in. And I'm going to ask her to stay behind and come back into the studio um, shortly and tell us a little bit about how that reading was for her, the feedback, the validations, what it really meant for her. How was it for you? I know it was quite emotional. It was, it? yes, very emotional, but it was amazing, I have to say. I was so impressed um, with oh. Terry, so thank you, Terry. Um, it was just everything uh, which I found really interesting, um, everything that I was about to ask her a question in my mind, she then just said, what I was actually thinking, which I found that incredible. Mm. Um, and I've seen a few psychics before, but this was absolutely unbelievable. Um, I've never had anyone say to me things about my childhood. All of that was just so accurate. I was just extremely impressed. Now, for the skeptics out there, yeah, I think that when there are cases like this, when so much validation comes through, I mean, it knocks your socks off. And I, I do have to say, hand on heart, we did not prompt Terry before the show we did not give them Tracy's no history I mean I don't even know no, I, know, I, no, know, but I don't know any of these things about no, you, do absolutely I? no one does and um, I was absolutely blown away um, I have to say it was amazing um, again every I was just so shocked that as soon as I was thinking about um, as Terry had mentioned a boyfriend she then just started talking about it. And I was like, I was just thinking that. that. That was so weird. I was literally just thinking it. And I was going to ask her the question, what about a boyfriend? And she just said it. And it was just, that was absolutely incredible. Really so incredible. was there anything in the reading that really stood out? What, what were the things oh, that really To be honest with home? you, I just, everything that she mentioned about my father, um, his whole character, um, just that I can't, honestly, everything. It was incredible. 
Uh, it really was. It was amazing. Um, and it was just really nice to hear um, when she actually did mention, um, you know, you've been talking to your dad. I, I was saying before I got here, I was talking to my dad at home in my flat. And I was saying, please come through tonight. Please, please, please. Yeah. And that's exactly what Terry said. And that's exactly what happened. It was just so nice again to get the the validation that he's there, that he's around me, that he's mm. supporting me. And that for me, with obviously my father passing so soon and so sudden, it was just nice to know that he is around. And that's, yeah. that's what I definitely got out of it tonight, yeah. um, it is that for sure. So what do you feel that you're, do you feel that it helps you to deal with bereavement really? Yeah, um, absolutely, 100%. Um, just to feel that, um, you know, that I'm not going crazy in my flat talking to my dad, uh, that I know that he's actually listening, um, and then I know that he's, he is around me. And, and that just gives you the comfort, and that's what it is, and that's what I have to go away and walk away from this, is that comfort knowing that he is around, and that's what I get out of it. Do you think it's helped, helped you a little bit in, like, you know, it's Monday morning tomorrow. Are you going to approach the week differently? And we were talking about job. Absolutely. Um, I, I think just going away from it, feeling that, you know, he's there, he's happy, and he's, you know, and that I know that he is always around me. And I think that just gives you the comfort um, more than anything that he's around. Mm. And it was great. It was really nice. Thank you so much for coming into the studio and allowing us to share You're with welcome. that because it was very sensitive. It was. And very yes. personal. Yeah. So would you recommend a mediumship reading uh, to anybody? Absolutely. 100%. Yes. Wow. Absolutely love it. Well, you've yeah. heard it from Tracy and you know what to do if you would like a consultation with Terry yourself. You can just phone us on 0207 193 6457 and leave a message and we'll call you back and make an appointment or you can also go through to our website oracletelevision.com and you can book online for a 30 minute or a 60 minute consultation and as of tomorrow there'll be a 45 minute one available as well at Terry's request um, but you can do that come through and make that appointment because um, I think that really there's something very personal about the connection that you feel to the media and you feel drawn to somebody don't you yes and, and you felt drawn to Terry having seen her at Conway Hall I did exactly and that's again it's really interesting something that Terry said earlier on that you are drawn to that person and I was extremely had that sort of power and so drawn to Terry it was just even I was quite shocked myself yeah. uh, and wondered why I was having this emotion yeah. this feeling yeah. and then obviously it just all made sense that today was meant to or tonight was meant to happen um, and I was meant to have this you know this oh. reading so, thank yeah. you so much for coming in Ter um, Tracy, Tracy <laughs> it's all the teas <laughs> it's all the teas tonight yeah, yeah. Um, well you've heard it from Tracy and um, you know how to get involved and have a reading with Terry yourself um, this is something that is very personal um, to get validation and a connection to somebody that's passed over into the spirit world is a very personal thing. There's no guarantee. We can't just phone them up. It's not like they've got mobiles. Um, we can't demand anything of them. But if you're feeling that resonance and you're feeling drawn towards having that consultation, that sitting with Terry, then it, it's very likely that you're getting that attraction for a reason. So 0207 193 6457 is the number to dial to leave us a message and make that appointment and also you can come through on the website so oraclevision.com and book online um, it's as simple as that this spirit show is live and interactive featuring international psychic mediums to book an appointment with one of our studio guests call 0207 193 6457 or call 0207 111 6378 to have a reading right now with one of our team. Oracle TV, for mind, body and soul.